A bill that state lawmakers may take up in the new year could require students to get HPV and flu vaccinations in order to go to school or daycare. And today it led to protests. Good evening. I'm Mary Alice Demler and I'm Adam Benini in for Scott Levin tonight. Some parents pulled their kids out of school today as part of a statewide demonstration and two on your sides. Jeff Preval has that and some tough questions for lawmakers as we continue to hold people in power accountable. Simultaneous rallies outside the offices of State Senator Tim Kennedy and Assembly Member Patrick Burke. Why? Because earlier this year, both voted in favor of removing a religious exemption for school vaccinations. And families want to know where they stand on proposed mandates for the HPV and flu vaccinations, which would impact many children. Jenny Kupchak of Amherst kept her daughter Josie out of elementary school today. I don't look at this as a pro-vaccine versus anti-vaccine debate. I truly look at it as pro-choice, that we should be able to choose what is happening with our children. Earlier this year, downstate lawmakers proposed legislation that would require children born on or after January 1st, 2009, who are going into or already in the seventh grade, get the HPV vaccine. The Mayo Clinic says HPV infections are often transmitted sexually or through other skin-to-skin -skin contact. The vaccine protects against certain types of cancer, and the CDC recommends that by the time children are 11 years old, they get the HPV vaccine. It's not something that all people believe in, and some people want that choice whether or not their children get that. Another proposed bill protesters are against requiring kids who are in daycare get the flu vaccine. It's really government overreach. Uh, as a parent of three children, uh, it is very important to me that uh, there is uh, parental consent when we're dealing with minors. So along the lines of you saying that you're in favor of parental consent, is it safe to say that on its face you're not in support of this legislation? It's safe to say that I have concerns and that we'll be reviewing them, but we'll be weighing the needs of our children. We'll be listening to the medical professionals. And we have uh, received a statement from Assembly Member Burke saying that he does not support a mandatory HPV or flu vaccine. These bills have been proposed for years in previous legislative sessions, but have gone nowhere and they would have to be approved in the next legislative session, which starts next month to become law. I'm Jeff Perfall, Channel 2 News.